ladies and gentlemen, happy Friday once again. What is up? Welcome to another episode of 8 Bits version 2.6. I'm DJ Wheat, joined as always by It Me JP. And you know what, JP, for the first time, someone in chat was like, What does V2.6 mean? And someone was like, <laughs> You know, it goes up by 0.1 every episode. And at that yeah. moment, I had an epiphany. Because we've talked about, like, maybe we just should just, like, change it to a number. But then I was like, you know what? We actually do change the show so much that it's just yeah. so you're getting a new version every week. And I, yeah. I suddenly I, I like it again. So I don't know. I'll go back and forth on that one. Uh, but, hey, guys, welcome to another Friday show of 8-Bits where we talk about video games and uh, what we're playing, what's in the news. Take your phone calls sometime. And uh, we're here again with uh, a lot, not only on our plates that we played, but also some news popping up this week that's definitely, I think, discussion worthy here. So, JP, yes. how how the fuck is it going, man? It's going pretty good. Uh, it's the first time for the show that, well, in a long time, that I haven't woken up 30 minutes prior to. Yeah, instead you've just not gone to sleep, right? Yeah, I mean, that, I think that's <laughs> fixing the problem and nipping it in the butt. We. <gasps> Uh, yeah, I'm on today. <laughs> at the same time, uh, at the same time. Now, I don't normally, I don't normally, you know, disclose any sort of Skype conversations that I have with people. But JP did say to me yesterday, like, man, I just got to fix my sleep schedule. And if this is your way of fixing it, JP, then I certain that's one way. I, I mean, you know, I don't know. It's lots of different I, uh, ways. To yeah, I, I started streaming last night at like eleven. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stream till eight minutes. I don't. What else do I have to do? I already canceled the show on Thursday, so I don't have to fucking do that. We don't have Dark Heresy on uh, Saturday, so I don't have to be prepped for that. So, yeah. like, yeah, you're yeah. you're okay. We just switch yeah. it around a little I, bit. Okay. I often think to myself, like, you know, I wish I didn't have to sleep ever. Like, I think about what I do when I stay up for 24 hours at a time. And it's like, God, if I just didn't sleep, JP. I've had these I would, same. I had these same thoughts. I could like, do so I would much. Be a productive beast of beastiness. Like I already feel yeah. like. But you know what? Every time, every time that you say that to yourself, JP, you need to go back. You need to watch that X Files episode. Which they, one? They created soldiers that didn't have to sleep. Yeah. Let's just say it didn't turn out so hot. <laughs> All right. So, just, just firing off the suggestion. Okay. I know that uh, some people out there have to have have to watch that one, but I I've probably seen it before. I I watched all of the X Files when I was, I think it was like eleven or twelve. So I st I was actually scared by that shit. It wasn't just like a sci-fi show. It was actually like scary fucking television yeah. that I hated watching. It was. It was. Good I remember stuff, watching man. that the the uh, the sepia toned episode that was like a horror episode, and they. The, they were, I think they actually did. They performed an abortion or something with a a, a, oh. a fork or something like that. That was part of the episode. I don't know. I, I remember seeing that and my parents were just like, what the fuck are you watching? If you yeah. can't watch this. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're cut off, JP. No more. Yeah. Yeah. No more. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the good good. It, it worked then. You're like all. What the the abortion or no? Work? <laughs> that worked too in the sepia tones, but uh, yeah. I mean, uh, changing your sleep schedule it, it worked. Uh, kinda. Yeah. It's not. It, it's it's a process. Like I'll probably stay up or try to stay up as much as possible today, and then I'll use role play tomorrow to extend that even further into right. the night, and then hopefully on Sunday with role play then occurring at eight. Then I'll extend it to 11, and the, the cycle will be complete. And I'll never talk to you again, because it'll just be flip-flopping. That's good. No, that's good. Probably. I don't know. Pro I don't know. So, I, I fucking hate sleep schedules. They're the worst thing in the world. They are. I'm with you. I, see, like, here's an interesting thing, right? This is this is an insight to all you uh, all you folks out there that maybe aren't married or, or uh, you know, don't have a, don't have a kid, is that, like, Unfortunately, like your sleep schedule no longer is dictated him, yeah. by, you know, by you. So, well, not only that, but like, even with my wife, like, I can't remember the last time I, that like, I didn't go to sleep and then my wife went to sleep, you know, uh, uh, with me, right? Like, right. we as a unit, like, we just need go, go. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Go I, to sleep. I totally get that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so. Like it's pretty rare when I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna stay up till three and and play games and shit. But yeah, yep. 
I need to, I need to, I need to get do that a few more times though. I'm getting all JP. I can't. I need my sleep. I'm getting to the point where if I don't get my my at least ten to eleven hours, I wake up and I'm just I'm like a zombie for a couple hours. But anyway, I don't know why we're talking so much. Yeah, about. I don't know. Let's talk about video games. That's what you guys. <laughs> uh, that's what you guys came here for. Uh, what now playing and uh, quite a bit this week. I mean, we could start off with the most obvious, but I think that we maybe leave that uh, leave that for last. So I'll, I'll fire off something that came out uh, recently, but probably doesn't need a ton of time. And that's The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 2. Uh, it was, I believe, released. Was it released last week or was it this week? Yeah, I was this. I think it was this it week. It came out Tuesday. Yeah, okay, Tuesday. So I, I, I was someone on top of this. Um, it uh, continues to be good. I played it with Mini Wheat last night. We called it Life Lessons, and uh, I got to tell you, like, uh, it, it, I'm the the videos will be on on YouTube later today. But JP, like, I don't really, I don't have much to say about the game, right? Like, we, it's Walking Dead. You know what it is. It's yeah. Telltale. You know exactly what it is. It's just the next part of it. What what I'm finding fascinating is. Uh, I'm playing it with my son. You know, we go over like the rules, talked about what happened in the first one, blah, blah, blah. And there is uh, there is a character that, you know, as you know, and the and people have been coming and going through the whole thing. But let's just say like there's yeah. a character that he quickly became attached to that he got was emotional about some things that happened with this character. And I was like, okay. you know, it's just amazing to me that a game can be. You know, powerful enough to invoke these emotions now you know to me it wasn't it wasn't quite as impactful but even in the first episode and you know, hand up for spoilers but in the first episode where uh where you had uh this incident and sorry jp i'm gonna but you have an incident with the dog and uh, it's kind of okay. it's kind of bad and it's it's kind of like whoa dude like it hits you right here you know right in the hearts and and uh it's rough so uh, putting it down like that sort of they've nailed that shit jp like in this universe in the walking dead they have nailed the ability to you know get you to love a character or hate a character and then do something in the game to make you feel and that's a really powerful thing. It's quite awesome. So, I mean, just these guys continue to do it. And, and it's awesome. That's good to hear. That consistency is really tough, I think, to pull off. Yeah, I think that's, that's where I was going with that. Is it's good to hear. Like, I, I've, uh, I've said this before, but I, I won't play it. Uh, I, I don't feed into the episodic stuff. Like, I will play Walking Dead when it's all out, right? Right. Same, same for uh, The Wolf Among Us. Like, I will play The Wolf Among Us when everything, all five episodes are out. Um, but it, it's good to hear that season one, they, they didn't get lucky, right? They, they understand that formula now they understand how to pull at those strings, uh, from, from what I've read, from what I, what I've heard and from what you just said. Um, and so I'm, I'm still excited, but nine months from now is when I'll play that whenever the fifth yeah, episode comes out. Yeah. Cause I, I, I hate being, I hate the cliffhangers, especially that they do cause they, they do some, uh, I guess emotional ones. They They're tie kings. the emotions into that. Yeah. They're kings. You know, they, they've gotten good enough, JP, where they rival uh, a good old fashioned TV cliffhanger. The thing right. about that is that, you know, yeah, sometimes I got to wait three, four months, maybe if it's Game of Thrones, like forever in a day, uh, you know, to see what happens next. But uh, most of the times I have the luxury of waiting seven days until I see what, you know, what happens after that. Right. I, 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 it is interesting, and I would love to know, you know, what are the retention numbers? Like, are there people that end up buying the game, playing episode one, and then they never come back and play the other episodes? Just yeah, because, I don't, I don't know, they get focused on other things. Like, I guess I they could find love. that from saves. Because, well, I don't, they, I don't know I'm, how they would find that out. I'm Probably. sure. I'm sure. Shit, man. I, I know if I was making a game like this, I would be data mining the shit out of that. Like, you know, yeah. there's science behind that stuff. Figuring out, you know, maybe it's not worth it to release it in this episodic fashion. Maybe we should just leave it out. Um, but at the same time, I, I kind of enjoy these little, what, I think the total playthrough was an hour and 45 minutes for episode one. It's a nice little nugget of gaming, you know? Yeah. That that's the one thing that actually I I 
dislike when it comes to like marathoning five episodes in a row is that it's it's like man i wish like it it's so much uh emotional wear and tear going from <laughs> yeah yeah episode to episode especially for season 1 um where i did i think episode 1 to 3 and then i did 4 and 5 when they came out on their respective days um i think 3 was the one that involved duck in the train so that one was just like jesus fucking christ like this is this is horrible. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm so tired of this. I so I want something happy in my life for <laughs> five minutes. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I, I'm still excited to play all that. Yep. And and I'm also interested to see what because Telltale, like as a studio, is just blown up. They they went from well, they're doing the Borderland, right? Aren't they? Doing... Yeah, they're doing like they have a. I think they have over 200 employees now. We in the I... studio. And to think about, I mean, where is their power? Their power is in storytelling. It's not even right. in innovative even, gameplay. Yeah. Uh, it's that's it's fucking amazing. I think that's odd. The fact that other companies go to them to and give them you know, confidence and have confidence in them that they will carry their brand and or franchise. Uh, it's really interesting. I wonder. I wonder how long it's going to be until we have like some sort of a show game tie in you know like yeah. i would i would i would literally wet my pants if like what, suddenly didn't, didn't some characters show up or didn't didn't kirkman say that some characters from the game might show up on the show soon or something I, like that I, I think that i think that there's always been talk of being able to somewhat relate the the only the only universe that's off limits is the comic book yeah, so yeah, that's its own thing. Like, yeah. Kurt, you know, but they're talking about a spinoff of the show. They've obviously got the game. The game got has its own following, and I feel like people that are fans of The Walking Dead are still following that. So, uh, I haven't that, watched the the show since uh, last season. I'm like three episodes from the finale, and well, I and that it's I just can't get back into it. The the show has gotten actually phenomenal because I think they've said, okay, let's actually. Let's 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 float a little closer to the source material. That's good to hear. And like they got to a point where they could. There were two paths to walk, and they actually they they're still kind of walking. Though we're doing our own thing, but they've done a great job of like uh, of of recreating some amazing moments uh, from the comic already. And there's I'm sure more to come. So I'm really excited cool. about that. Cool. Yeah, I think I just got tired of the prison. Like I I had been through that in the book, and I I knew. The things that happened in the book and and that's most what made it suck. Happen. I I hear yeah. you, dude. I hear you because you just because like, that portion in the book was just fucking awesome. Yeah, like, from the moment crazy. actually, there is a moment with the governor in the prison that like at that moment is where they're like where they start writing the comic book line. So okay, yeah. So I, I know, that, I know. Yeah. I, I watched enough or or follow the show loosely enough to know what that moment was okay. or is rather. Yeah. To where it it was like oh this is actually as as hardcore as the book is so yeah. anyway so yeah I I just need to get back into it yeah. I've been watching too much True Detectives and and other oh, stuff I, I'm getting ready to start that one so oh you're you're gonna have fun in Carcosa good huh you're gonna have fun in Carcosa oh so I can't wait that's one <laughs> I those are just two guys that, all right we need to shut up and just start yeah. making it, make a show about TV shows or something okay yeah what do you got uh well. Trying to think where we could or where I should start. I, I guess I mentioned to uh, you, and this is something small. I mentioned to you at the end of last episode, I think it was last week, right. that I was going to be playing uh, Star Control 2 or Star Control in general. Right, right. And you, you were pretty amped for this, and I was just like, I, I don't know what to, I, don't, sure. I have no idea what to expect. Um, and so I, I recorded the episode of Pitch. It's already up on uh, on my YouTube. But uh, what, a, what an interesting game that is. <laughs> like when did that come out? When do you know when that released? Uh yeah, I mean, okay, so let's see. I was playing Star Co Control um in middle Star Control 2 I was playing in middle school. And that would have been what? I was like I was maybe like 11 or 12 when I played Star Control 2, so maybe I was like 10 or 9 when July I played Star 1990 Control 1. 1990. So I would have been third for the first one? Yeah. I'd have been 13. Okay, that makes more sense. I would have had, already had my computer at that time. 
Yeah. So yeah, like I knew going into it that it was a old game in that regard, and I've been playing a lot of of quote old it's games old. lately, but this one is fucking. It, it's still good though, because <laughs> it's HDified, right? Like. It, right, right. All of the all of the art is is upresed and and I think they redid a lot of it as well. JP, the, do I have permission up? to show a video of your YouTube channel and this particular oh, yes. video? I don't think I'll claim it. Okay, okay. In, uh, the officially. the audio, like the song, like the music. I don't know if it's original or if it's been redone for this upres of of the the EXE or whatever that I downloaded. Like. Holy shit, I was actually taken aback by how good it was, or is, rather, within the game. Um, but the game is pretty simplistic from what I saw. And even though they HD-fied it, they still kind of, I can tell already from the video, they still sort of uh, stayed true. That's good. That's yeah, good to, to sort of the... I, there was no mouse. There was no mouse at all. I could not use the mouse at all. Everything was W, or sorry, directional pad. Yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, and Welcome it didn't even to... use spacebar. Like spacebar is not used; it's enter. So everything was focused around um, the the directional pad, which took me a second to be like, "Oh, I can't use the mouse in this." Like, <laughs> but uh, I I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, the dialogue trees; it's pretty interesting to me that that stuff existed back then. Like, and they're actually pretty heavy in that. And and in all in all, uh, I mean, Star Control Two is a huge overhaul over the first one too. As is well. it really? So, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. did you get? Do are there like some battles in here and stuff? Do you? Uh, I got into one fight towards the end where uh, I like went down onto the planet, and then it was. I don't. I don't even know how to describe it. One thing that game did teach me is that I don't know the solar system at all. <laughs> uh, and that's also the one thing that, like, where all the comments come from is like, God, this guy's an idiot. He doesn't know that Neptune and where all the, sh where, like, where the planets are. And I was like, well, I know Earth. It's the third rock from the sun. All right. Fucking that TV show. <laughs> that. But I didn't know where anything else was. Oh, uh, my God. That's hilarious. I think I was looking for Neptune. I, I, like, I went through every planet. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty text heavy though. I gotta it's, say. Yeah, it's 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 text heavy. Yeah, That's, and uh, well, I'm glad you got I mean, to experience that, JP. It's available for free. So if you if you want to play it, uh, which as as far as I've been told, it's a classic. It, it's it's well known by nerds everywhere. So if you want to play yourself, uh, perhaps see what what games were like back then. It's uh, Urquan Masters HD, and you can download it from SourceForge. It's like 700 MB or something like that. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. The dialogue trees were the most, most interesting part of it for me because I did not expect something like that from a game in 1990. Yep. And nowadays, people are like, look at this dialogue tree. They stole it from Mass Effect. And you're Yeah, everyone like, thinks oh, Mass Effect God, was the one that started you're fucking, that. You're, you're killing me, kids. Yep. You're killing me. Right on. Uh, well, quick report in. JP, I, I still can't fucking put down Bravely Default. I, I'm not going to say... You haven't beaten it yet? I, I'm on the last crystal, and so there's like five chapters, and I'm on f like the end of four. But I found like the most amazing grind spot. So now I'm like creating the most OP job combos that I can possibly, I could possibly uh. imagine. And um, and then I'm fighting all the other. Mo there's like this place where you go to where there's all these huge ass monsters. It's yeah. like they give you the choice to take these three paths. And they're like, yo, if you go this way, this shit's really hard. If you go this way, like it's it's kind of hard, but it's like a longer road. If you go this way, it's kind of like half and half. Well, if you go down every road, there's like a huge boss like, I, and more than one. At one point, you go and there's this fucking giant dragon on the world map. And so, I just been fucking playing through That's all cool. those, and I don't know. It's 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 fucking weird. I don't. I, How many hours you put into that game so far? <laughs> I think I'm up to like forty nine or something. Okay. I mean, you gotta imagine like there's a there's a good amount of toilet time. Yeah. Like when yeah. I'm like, you know, making breakfast or whatever, just a little bit here and there. I'm grinding during a TV show, whatever. It's it's worked out well. I got a trip coming up in two weeks and I'll probably play it on the on the flight there. 
Well, it's on, I mean, you'll be pre-grinded, dude, because you can make it to the end uh, like pre-50 so easy. Oh, okay. So if yeah, you're really like in the 40s, through. once you get to third crystal, like uh, at that point, they, they're they handing you XP and JP. So. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm like 44, 43, and I haven't touched it in like two weeks. I, I forgot exactly where I'm at in the game, but um, it's still good. So I want to, I asked you last week and people were asking us last week about the Diablo three patch yeah. and you got a chance to finally play it. So yeah. are you going to break it down for us? Because I'm still, I have no, I'm um, still woefully ignorant to what the fuck has changed and like, why people are saying this is the redemption of Diablo. I, I think so. I don't know where to start because my experience with Diablo 3... <laughs> You're not selling it, JB. Like, okay. Go ahead. Well, my, my experience is like I loaded in and the first thing I did was tweet like, hey, what class is good now? What what works? What what sure. should I... I, I, I went into it with the uh, expectation of leveling and, and making a new character. Um, and within like seconds, I got a bunch of uh, tweets and... I would say nine out of ten of them were all wizard is really good. You should play a wizard. They're really strong right now. And that's the class that I have a 60 of already. So I'm like, all right, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm fucking in. Um, what spec should I play? And I got a bunch of tweets back. Uh, I went with um, I'm basically playing uh, it's a, for, a frozen orb sork is basically what it, like a Diablo 2 frozen orb sork. That's all it is. Uh, with a bunch of passives, and I'm just a giant glass cannon, um, and so I'm 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 walking around town, and I'm like, all right, let's go. I don't know what good what what's a good loot uh, grind or or where I should go to get good loot, et cetera, et cetera. I'll just jump into a random place. I sure. bump the the difficulty up to torment two. Right, which, which they've added several levels of that. Right, they've they've redone all of the difficulties. So instead of three now, instead of uh, normal nightmare and inferno, there's now five. I, I don't know all of them, um, but the highest is torment, and then in torment, there's six different difficulties of that, which up your XP earned and your gold earned all the way up to sixteen hundred percent more. Right. So torment six is very very tough, but it's nowhere near what inferno was back in the pre-patch at least from my estimation really uh, inferno back pre-patch was like you walk into inferno without having decent gear or sorry without having good gear really good gear you're gonna fucking take forever to kill a monster and you're gonna get one shot by anything in my experience um so i i i, I put it at torment 2 the gear on my sorcerer is, is shitty as all hell it it's it's the worst gear. I think I have like at this point I had like sixty thousand damage, which is pretty terrible. Um and I'm walking around and, and I'm thinking to myself, like, well, this isn't I'm not like why am I playing this? This is Diablo and it's not I'm not having a fun time. And then within I don't know, ten mobs, a yellow drops. And I'm like, Oh, let's I'll go collect that. And I immediately look at it, it's a gigantic upgrade. I'm like, okay, cool. I got an upgrade. That that's cool. I probably that's, I just got lucky. Like I won't. It's not gonna happen again. And I kill like 30 more mobs, and then I get a fucking legendary that boosts my damage from 60,000 to like 90,000. A single item. And I'm just like, well, sick. That's that's pretty fucking cool. It's like an executioner's axe. It looks awesome. It's a legendary. It's got like 1,300 damage on it. I'm like, all right, cool. This is this is cool. And then. Ten hours later, I'm like, why the fuck am I still playing this? Oh, look, there's a shiny thing. Or let's go get that loot. Let's go fucking click that so loot. So the man. loot like, is a big reason why. The people loot is are the saying... entire reason that I'm still playing oh. that game. It's still Diablo through and through. Like, if, if you do not want the Diablo experience or the loot grinding experience, don't play. But if you passed on Diablo 3 earlier on, um, because of all the complaints that with the servers and just that the end game was boring and whatnot. I definitely say give it a try, uh, especially with the expansion coming out. Not everything is is in there to make the end game what it will be. Will you play the expansion? I will definitely hit level seventy because okay. uh, they're they're adding ten levels to it. I don't know if I'll grind it out. I don't know if that's uh, like grind out to get like the best 
oh my god, awesome gear. But it's a game where I can jump in and, and have fun with for 10 minutes and you know, see those 10 minutes turn into an hour very, very quickly. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I, I just, I can't, I feel like, JP, like Diablo 3 is a, is a title that, you know, I, to be fair, I was never a super Diablo 2 hardcore enthusiast. And I don't mean literally hardcore, but just like I played the game, right? Just like a lot of gamers did, but I never really played beyond that. Um, and Diablo 3 had interest because it was more or less a Blizzard game. But mm. what Diablo 3 didn't really spark for like me was like Jen Jen and I were just looking for a game that we knew we could just you know, hey, we could pop in, play for a while, and, and maybe it's a game worth returning to, but it just seems like with all this shit coming out and everything else that's available from indie stuff to, you know, AAA shit to the next-gen stuff that's coming out, the new console stuff, it seems so hard to try to convince myself in my mind to, like, go back and, and give this another shot. Yeah. The, I think the the... If you want a reason to make the game interesting i think playing on hardcore is definitely that reason because then the fear of death and the the chance of death make it more exciting and, and more rewarding um uh -huh. yeah sure it also sucks <laughs> like a motherfucker when you die i mean there's that right as well. right um but at the end of the day like i i started to to realize once again that like it, that game had a lot of issues when it launched, uh, a lot of issues with, when it launched, right. most of them being server stability and, and being able to log in and all Fun, that stuff yeah. for that first couple of weeks, or first week or two probably. But like, at its core, it is still a fucking Blizzard game, and it is still a great game. Like, the sound design in that game is amazing. It, I, I was sitting there watching it, or playing it last night, and just thinking like, this game is so well done in that aspect sure some of the mechanics are still kind of shitty and still annoying and i think a lot of those were addressed in the latest patch but like graphically having it fully bumped up it looks fantastic seeing all of the little stuff in the environment that happens that you're not going to find that in in a in my experience you're not going to find that in a path of exile or uh any of the other action rpgs that right. i've played in the past year right. or two like it's so well tuned. It it it's a Blizzard game through and through. Yeah. Is it still fun two hundred hours later? If you're that type of person, then probably. But for me, like, I've already started to to. The more I grind, the the thought, even though more and more things are dropping for me, the thought of like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I playing this? Is, is starting to come back. So yeah, I can understand that. Well, I'm like thirty seven levels into Paragon, so, and there's three hundred of those. <laughs> Jesus. But if, if you want to play a game and you want to hit 60 before the expansion, now's the time to do it because they're offering 50% more XP. So they've got that in there to pull you in. And I think the expansion comes out the 25th. Yeah, the 25th. So, I was just showing that. So I was going to mention that. March 25th. So you've got 18 days to, to hit 60, and you can do it in under 12 hours pretty easily. So Awesome. So check it out if you want some some action RPG with a heavy emphasis on loot. So um, I've got before we talk about um, before we talk about South Park, uh, I have made the decision, JP, I'm going to go ahead and wait until PC version of Dark Souls 2. I'm just going to really I am. I'm going to do it. So you're not watching any streams. I I, mean, I, I don't know if, if it's legal. But I've actually watched some streams already. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I don't know if they're supposed to be streaming it or I. I don't know if there's an NDA on it or what. But I've watched uh, a couple minutes. Yeah, and then do you turn it off for spoilers or? Uh, mostly. It, I saw a couple of. I saw a guy walking down some awesome-looking environment, fighting these giant knights, and I was like, "All right, I'll, I'll just I'll wait. I don't want to." I mean, uh, I'd rather want the surprise of like seeing the environments and seeing the art design and or the the art direction to, myself. To justify this, I my experience with the original was that I did not play it right away. What happened was is Nice Guy Ed ended up getting it, and it was one of those like, dude, you have to just you have to play through. And this was Demon this game. Souls, right? Yes, yes. So like. You know, it was, you have to play this game. So it passed through, like, three friends before it finally got to me, which was, you know, a, a while later. So 
I just I I don't know. I I I'm I feel like I'm I'm going that route. I know that's not a now playing, but yeah, we'll see. I, I'll be interested to see if you can make it past next week. That's that's going to be the that'll be the, the challenge. I mean, I'm thinking. Fuck, I don't know if I can just if I can stay off next week, then I'll be I'm at GDC then the following week and then it'll be really hard to it'll be really easy to avoid streams. But I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I'm uh, Next week is such a interesting week with with that with Titanfall. Uh, with some other stuff that's probably going to be hitting that's going to be huge on Twitch. Um, and then a week after that is... Uh, is it a week or is it two weeks for Infamous? I think it's two weeks. There's definitely games to fill that void. Oh, yeah. But it, it I mean, the next three months, it's going to be Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark and Souls. And that, that's partially there, another reason why. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I've got my, uh, although I, I'm actually a little bit worried, Amazon sent me an email saying that my collector's edition shipped today, but it's not going to be here till the 13th, which is next Thursday. That can't be right. And I was just like, Amazon, don't you fuck me. Don't Amazon, you screw, me. Don't you uh -oh. screw me out of Dark Souls on launch day. I mean, I'll just go pick it up. And I'll fucking go get it at Fry's or something and, and have two of them. I don't really care, but I was a little bit worried when I got that email. That Titanfall is really 50 fucking gigs people are reporting right now. Yeah, it's a big game. 34 audio and or 34 gigs in audio. That's awesome. Uh you wanna you wanna touch back up uh Castlevania Lords Shadow 2? I know you have this on your list, and then maybe we can talk about South Park. Yeah, sorry, I was I was looking at my Dark Souls order. Oh. Delivery <laughs> estimate March 13th. Are you fucking kidding me? You need to me? email Amazon. Be like, I don't think you understand. Maybe the collector's edition isn't promised for same day. I would argue that, dude. Wow, they're actually sold out of the PS3 Dark Soul regular version on Amazon. Holy shit. Is that game going to be hard to find? I don't know. It could happen, JP. It could happen. That is... I've never seen a game pre-sold out. I've seen systems and everything, but never a fucking game. That's crazy to me. I don't know. Yeah, Anyways. I don't. I can't think of any. <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens on Tuesday. Uh, I'm not going to be playing it at midnight. I've already accepted that. So if all else fails, I'll just run out to fries and grab it. Um, but yeah, uh, Castlevania 2, I, I actually uh, had not touched that at all uh, since last week. Uh, until about 12 hours ago when I was streaming. And I was like, well, I've, I've already played my four or five hours of CSGO. I don't really want to stream Diablo 3 because that's like the most boring thing ever to watch on stream. Why don't let's jump into some Castlevania? Let's, let's try some more Castlevania. Um, when you're not doing, like, I really like that game, but I fucking hate that game when you're doing this stupid stealth bullshit oh, or God, when there's some fucking right. puzzle like you have these badass fights and like these amazing uh art direction and these incredible structures and this amazing looking scenery and then it's like all right we're dropping you into a stealth sequence and i get so fucking annoyed and, Dude, it, and they're so bad I, are, they're so bad are the okay <laughs> Can we do a straw poll right now? Like, can we do... Can, let's do... I, I'm going to fucking set it up. This makes me salty as shit. Uh, because... It, okay, we're going to find out. We're going to we're gonna do a straw poll. Option one, I love stealth parts in games. Option two, I fucking hate stealth parts in games. And the question, do you love or hate? Okay, this is really... This is really easy. You choose one or the other. I'm copying it. I'm going to put it into chat. And vote, please. Um, I want to know. Because you know what I think, JP? I think that these designers have quickly... Um, have quickly like fallen out of touch with what gamers I, like. Because I cannot believe that there are people out there that are like, Oh! Bill! Billy! Billy! <laughs> Come on, Billy! Fuck! 
quick. I'm not going to leave the pasta on this part for too long. Who is doing that? Yeah, dude. No one. And they're, and they're not even done well. Like that, like I can get like, I can get through a well done stealth thing. Like, and when I say well done, I can get through an Assassin's Creed stealth thing. That's my, that's like a decent stealth thing, right? What it does, the Lord of Shadows stealth mechanics are just so fucking pointless and stupid and annoying and terrible. Like, it's the type of shit we eat where when you get seen, you're dead. It's not like, oh, you can make it and still live. It's like you die. And, and I you have think to that's, restart. Right. In what you what you said is the big difference, right? If it's just like, oh well, I guess I gotta kill everyone. Yeah, then, like that that's that's what Dishonored did. That was great. That's yeah. why Dishonored was awesome. And so it's like, it hey, you, that. you go back there. You can't sneak through here. And then you're like, yeah. In Castlevania, they just fucking, they're like, with their rocket launchers and you die. Uh, and then they put you, did you, you played Lord of Shadows, right? No, I haven't. The first oh, one? the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, do you care anything about the story of Lord of Shadow 2? Um, I mean, you, if you go, you know, you run into a character's acquaintance from the first the game, first all right? And, Instead of being like a cool fight or I don't know, something fun, they throw you into the fucking bullshit thing where you're in this environment. You're basically in a garden and you have to hide in this garden. And if you step on these leaves, he comes to where you're at and you get shot and you start the whole thing over again. And it is the fucking dumbest thing I've ever. I This is the we. You know how much I hate backseat gaming. Yeah. I'm literally like, all right, guys, after one death, I'm like, all right, what do I do? Tell me exactly what I'm doing here <laughs> to get me through because I do not want to do this fucking part at That's all. actually pretty rare, you know, to just, yeah. Yeah. It's like, I do not give a fuck about spoilers. I'm, just tell me exactly what I do. So it came up 60-40, although I have to believe that it's more like 70-30 and that 10% just wanted to me to, you know, wanted to rustle my jimmies a little bit yeah. um but even at 60 40 yeah don't you think that's worth maybe i mean and all the criticism that they can get i just don't understand i don't know if maybe it's a means to slow the game down to like add play time to it or what i don't know what sort of shit they're trying to but yeah yeah i'm with you dude i'm with it, you man someone brings up the the point of uh the last of us did its stealth parts pretty well I would go as far as to say is is you could play The Last of Us as a stealth game because, but the biggest through difference through it, it was always good. They they made me feel, they made me feel like, you know, I personally felt anxious oh, yeah. during those yeah, parts. Yeah. Right, you're not like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared for Bel one of the Belmont. Right. Like, oh my god, oh, no, you you have no attachment there. Same thing with the Assassin's Creed games. That's why it worked so well in The yeah. Last of Us because it was like, Good point. yo, bitch, fucking, you know, these two gonna die if you get caught. And they made it's a like, horrifying you're shit just, when you died. <laughs> it, right. So I feel like, you know, there while there are exceptions, this is this is dirty stealth. That's yeah. dirty, dirty stealth. It, and it's it's shitty too because when you're not doing that. The platforming in the game is pretty well done. The I, the fight in the game is I, it's my favorite part of the entire game. I love fighting in that game. It's so much fun just to jump into a fight. The story's uh, interesting enough. It's not um, it's not mind blowing. Um, th there's a sequence where you finally got to, you finally got to see Alucard in like his full garb from like Symphony of the Night. Like he had his fucking giant looking badass nice. sword. And it was fully like 3D render, and I was just like, "That that's fucking awesome!" Like, that is why I play these games because the art direction is yeah. so well done. And, then, um, and there's there's a moment so. where you go to like um, Dracula's castle. And you're like at the front gates. There's like these two gigantic fucking dragons that are statues that are like pointing at each other. It just looks fucking incredible. Like it was so awesome to see that. And then you get jumped back into the real world, and like, all right, you're going to a stealth part. <laughs> no, <laughs> and I'm just like, god damn it. But I'm like an hour and a half or, or so from that game. I just killed death 
So, I mean, as Castlevania games go, like, I'm near the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say that that's usually a signifier that you're near the end. Yeah, yeah. So I'll probably finish that up uh, a little bit later today. But, but, yeah, man, fuck the stealth parts in that game. They're so fucking terrible. So fucking annoying. So since we started a little late, don't you think we could probably just we could talk about South Park here? Yeah, totally. Yeah. All right. Um, so obviously South Park Stick of Truth came out. And, you know, not only have I been really surprised at just the reception of the game, um, but it lived up to its hype. Like, congratulations. The game lived up to its fucking hype. Uh, I, I think it exceeded its hype, to be uh, honest. Yeah, absolutely. I would agree with you. Um, you know, the number of, like, laugh out loud moments it has. Um, yeah. You know, the combat system, while remaining very simple, is still complex enough to let you build uh, uh, the type of build that you would want to play. I mean, I would ask this, JP. Everyone has probably tuned into a Stick of Truth stream or watched a little bit. What do you not like about South Park? Uh, honestly, how easy it was. I have to also say that I felt down. Did you play it on normal or hardcore? Hardcore. Okay, I did too. And I'm still not done with it, but the game, other than like one Towards part where end. I obviously walked into a place that I was not supposed to be, like, yeah, yeah. A, by the time you're three hours in that game, you're like, holy shit, I'm fucking OP as fuck. Yeah. And then it, it's just, it was pretty easy, I think. I, I think that. The other thing, too, that I didn't like was, uh, and, and this is probably the loot whore inside of me, but the items within that game don't have, like, I don't know why there is a level tied to an item, because at the end of the game, I'm using a level two item right. with a high level weapon, and, like, all of my armor I'm, I'm doing for stats, and they're not matching. Like, I, I wish the items were done better. I know what you mean. It was almost like they just made items to let you have some customization throughout the game. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. and there's definitely like I mean, dude, I, I don't know, but glass bottle is mad OP as a bow. Um it's the one I never that, even got that. It throws it throws like four random bottles that bleed and then you can like then you can put gross on it and certain hmm, classes I never got it just, that. it's it's so crazy op i forgot i i never even used the range at the end of the game i was using uh a level 15 or maybe it was level 14 one-handed sword that i think was from canada um but i would do like my heavy attack and would do like thirty seven thousand. Huh. and i was crazy. just like i was just i was one shotting mobs and four shotting bosses yeah yeah, and that's, and that's the thing is that I don't think they had a difficulty level that was relative to the items they gave you in the game. Like, I'm yeah. not sure if they just weren't really thinking that much. Like, okay, guys, we need to spend some time on, like, you know, right, figuring right. out the it's, system. And they're like, no, let's just make it funnier, which isn't a bad thing because the game is funny through and through. Oh, yeah. But definitely exactly what you're saying. Like, you will be so OP if you just think about what your skills are and who you have and the items that you have. What uh, what class did you play? I, I, I did play Jew. It, did you beat it? No, I have not beat it yet. Okay. Um, I, I played have, a wizard. Yeah, yeah. Do, do does the, the class do or whatever have a, uh, like, a, what do they have a dot as one of their special abilities? Some sort um, of bleed or some sort of gross or some sort of no, fire or a anything? stun, a stun, okay, and a bleed, which which also works in really good with the glass bottle. He's got one that's called the circumcythe, and okay, like cuts off. And and JP, I must have done this ability like fifty times before I actually saw a little fleshy penis that falls out from the side every time that you do it. I was Jesus. like, oh my god, um, <laughs> oh my god. The wizard has a, uh, or maybe maybe I was just adding in a. That's what I was doing on on my attacks. I had uh, fifty fire damage and yeah. fifty shock damage, right? Yeah, yeah. And you, so, like, yeah. when I would attack someone, and they would come to attack me, if they didn't die from my attack, then they would die after the they attacked turn. me from the fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, what that game what that game does so well is there is not a five minute period in that game where I'm not laughing like and and I'm not even the biggest South Park fan I haven't watched the show in 
five, four years, five years maybe. I've, I've watched maybe uh, 10 shows tops in the past five years. Um, and so I didn't know too many of the jokes. I didn't know too many of the the characters. I thought it was just they, random. But they did a it. good job not making it um, like so dependent on your show knowledge. Oh, totally. totally There's some yeah. things that are really fucking funny as a result of it, but they definitely did not make it dependent, I think. Yeah. The, the last, like... Where are you at in the game? So I'm at a point where basically you choose to side one of the. Okay. From that point forward, everything that happens before that is like child's play and how and like hilarious or hilariousness and like how crazy it gets in that game. That makes me happy. They go like. They go to points where I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, is this really what's going on right now on, on the screen? I'm just, and I'm, I was blown away. And then the ending, like the final sequence, I'm just like, I can't believe this is in a video game. This is fucking nuts. I can't this wait. Is, I'm, I may not be finishing over shit. the next two days because I feel like, would you say that that's about the halfway point of the game then? Uh, yeah, okay. that's probably a, okay. a good estimation. Uh, um, yeah. Um, but I mean, like all of the details to add to what JP's saying, the things like as you friend people, which is basically the more friends right. you get, you earn perks throughout the game, which also make you ridiculously OP. But then your friends will post shit on this, you know, this Facebook that's even funny. type thing. And it is funny. It's, yeah. it's hilarious. Like some of this, some of the stuff that, that gets written. And then the responses to some of these guys, uh, I mean, as a as a long interactive episode, I don't I don't know that anyone's ever pulled anything quite like this off. I mean, it oh, is it, it, amazing. Someone, someone uh, I think it was Angry Joe tweeted the best comment I've seen about the entire game. And that was the fact that this is the best TV or movie tie-in game since Goldeneye. That like it is that good. It is through and through. There are not. Yep very many things wrong with this game and if they are wrong they're so minor that the story and the fucking hilariousness of the game makes up for it yeah. dude the, the you, so you're on the second day right right that makes yeah, sense yeah, you're, yeah. okay night two was one of the funniest things i've ever seen dude Wayne. i mean hilarious and, and the uh, yeah. fact that it the, the fact that i was streaming it like I was just like, I'm my my channel's gonna get shut down. Yeah. This can't be on TV. <laughs> this can't be on. Like this cannot be on a channel. Holy I shit! I was I was happy that my son came in after that part was over, and I immediately said, "Mini wheat, I know that you really are excited for this game, but I have to tell you that this is Dude. about the most inappropriate thing that you could possibly." And it night two is, is actually tame compared to, like. I was I was expecting, and, and I don't know why this hasn't hit Fox News yet. That there is a you've seen the abortion clinic, right? In the game, uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah. It's so in the you've town. been by that building. I think so. It plays a very large role towards the end of the game, and what you do in the uh, fucking abortion clinic is just like, I'm just like, holy shit! How how did they get away with this? <laughs> I mean, they it is mind blowing. They how push, they, do that. they definitely push the limits, dude. Yeah, and they and they do. did, and and they did a great job with it. So, I you know what? I can't imagine that they're not going to make a second one eventually. They, yeah, they, I'm sure it's going to do extremely well, or and, it's already done extremely well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I wonder if this will convince, you know, maybe Family Guy to go. Shit, we've tried to make. Family Guy video games and we haven't quite done it right Maybe. you know I think that they could look a close look at what's happening here and you know I could I could see them doing something similar I think the difference is uh, because someone else that was was talking about this in some reddit threads is that the way that they do the customization and how you can basically create yourself in the game is right is fantastic you know I, I think what that game shows is that in order to do something like that game, if you want to make bring another IP from another medium into the world of video games, it has to have hands-on from the creators or from the people that do whatever the Absolutely. other the, the original thing was. Because like uh, Trey and Matt like were 
fucking super hands on, and you can totally tell oh, throughout the course. entire game that they were so well, hands on. Just through all the dialogue they had to record, oh, yeah. like everyone yeah. should know, like there's nothing that's not voiced except for the shit on the screen. Yeah, totally. Like, that's the thing. Like you don't, we p- p- people probably don't even think about that as they're playing it. Like there's never a moment really where your person goes up to talk to someone and they're just like a chat bubble that says hi, you know, yeah. that's, that's it. It's crazy. Yeah. What, um, what uh, people are asking. And I think it's a good thing to touch on these poor individuals that have complete sections of the game blocked out, man. That really is fucking shitty. Cause I, I know that some of those sequences are actually the funniest sequences in the game. Um, for example, the one that I brought up, the abortion, clinic i know i think that's blocked out yeah the all of the night two is blocked out um there's a couple yeah, of yeah, other yeah. smaller scenes night, that night are just blocked, blocked out, out you mean. or yeah, yeah 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 um i it's it's not even i think in germany it's not even like you can't even get it right now right i it, i that, don't know all of the i haven't been keeping inventory and track over where it's okay. I've just been okay. seeing the screenshots of like the koala crying, like "Sorry, Australia." Oh yeah, in Australia. We had yeah, to, yeah. And I saw the one with the, I don't know. There was a there was another one with like from the UK. Yeah. Uh, so and and people are saying that the PC version is not censored, which is really great That's to good, hear. Yeah. But it's, it's just, just the console. console stuff. Still, what a bunch of horseshit that is. It really sucks. Yeah. I mean, I I think that they imagine it would be. And I mean, they're they're pretty. Uh, they they don't shy away from using a fucking swastika, and and Hitler speeches in that game. <laughs> at all. have you have you encountered that yet? No, but they're, I. They're, but look, yeah, there are enemies in the game that is just literally oh, sound right, bites right. of Hitler. Right, speeches. I know what you're talking about. Yes, I'm in like that, three yeah. second or four second yeah. clips that are yeah. verb like actual. Just sound sound files bits, from, yeah. <laughs> which which even makes it more absurd that it's actually being used that way, but but yeah, the game's great. I I was not one of the individuals who was on the side of this might be a little expensive for sixty bucks because yeah, that was one of the big concerns from a lot of people. I didn't have that concern, JP. Not uh, and I'm only halfway through it. I know that I've got good quality entertaining entertainment coming up, and uh, I feel like what I've already played is worth it you know i think again you come back to like how many games do i spend money on and don't finish them or or they're yeah. not what i want them to be like i probably won't play this game again but i'll have a great time through I, the first playthrough i think what bothers me most about the price points and, and this didn't bother me until i started thinking about it i'm totally okay with the console version uh the, the ps3 and the 360 versions being 60 bucks you they're actual physical items they're disc their packages, I get it, but sixty bucks for a digital download on the PC is a little yeah, steep for I'll, that game. I'll, That's the only thing that I'll I second that I worry that. about. I'll second that. I'm sure maybe they knew if they could get away with selling an an uh, uncensored Especially, PC version that more people would buy that anyway. And, and and the only reason that that sixty bucks is because they don't want to make light or sorry they don't want to they don't want to have a different price point for it on the PC to make that the more valuable one in people's right, eyes right? right they want to try to match it with 360 and, yeah. and ps3 and that's that's fucking lame like that's got to start changing and i don't like i and, don't know how that changes until someone just starts pricing it differently and there really is no replay value there's none there's well none. There, the only thing that you would want to do to replay the game is uh to collect all 30 chim pokemon because there, there's ones uh, in certain or in certain points of the game that you can never go back oh, to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is shitty. Um, but Dude, it, if you have enough saves, that's one of my favorite just... parts of the game. Finding chimp Pokemon. They're, they're pretty good. The sound bite in there is really good. Every time I find one, my face just lights up. Yeah, you get all excited. Yay! Yeah. Awesome. Um, the, I, I was weird, hearing that there were a lot of issues with the PC version that people were having buggy. Oh. Oh, buggy sound. Like, it's actually scary because uh, I'm in the sewers one time. Of course, every game has a sewers, so that's never a spoiler. Yeah. Um, I'm in the sewers, and, you know, there's, like, some music playing. And I get into a battle, and that's like, silence. And it's just, Kah! Really? I never and, had that. Experience. 
And then it would stop. And and I think one time I restarted the client, it was fine. Another time it happened, but it fixed itself. But outside of that, I've had no problems. Hmm. I think I did have a crash one time, but I had a save, so it was no big deal. Yeah, I, I played through the game in one sitting. I didn't have a crash. There were no audio problems. It never had any hiccups. It was just a flawless experience for me. Um, Someone wants to know about the different classes because we did say there's no replay value and then well, playing through a different class. It's just like choosing different abilities. If all that's it is, replay is, value is five you, abilities. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's five abilities. Like you, you have so much flexibility in the, uh, because you only have two people in your party, you and someone else that never right. changes. I assume. Um, I so, so, um, you know, your versatility is actually in your comrades. You have five different spells. They're all pretty comparable. I don't think there's one that's necessarily OP over the other. It's It can all be dependent on your items. So I don't feel like the classes bring any replay value to it. And you're not going to like really. miss anything or have a disadvantage by choosing one class over the other. Right, because you can use whatever weapon or armor you want on any class. And there's no damage difference from what you're using. Um, and, and, and the PC, uh, one of the other complaints about the PC was that the options are, I mean, it's obviously a blatant fucking port. Yeah. It's like there's no V sync like the chat's talking about right now. Exactly. It's, it's locked at 30 FPS. Just which, like The Walking Dead, unfortunately. I had the yeah, same problem yeah, last yeah. night. I, I played through 10 minutes. I'm like, guys, I need to hold up a second because I think like there's a V sync off. It's like, I know things are kind of bad. Like, it's one thing when I notice it when I'm streaming, but when I actually see it on a 120 hertz monitor, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What's what's going on here? So that was and continues to be kind of a, a thorn. Yeah, in, in and I think those are, are just more bullet points for the fact that it's a $60 port on the PC. It's just a little bit annoying. And that game that game's not going to stay at that price point on the PC. They're going to knock that down to 30 will, or 40 soon. First sale. within two months. Yeah. First, sale. Yeah. first time, yeah, first time it drops, it goes down and they'll probably do that. Uh, I yeah. do agree with chat, by the way. Selling junk is t terrible. It's so awesome to pick up because I probably picked up like 13 oh, yeah, there's no already. Sell all, but yeah. but the fact that I have to like... Ding, 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 that's you just spam on. it, yeah. Like, how yeah. did they not go through QA and someone go, um, can you just fucking add a sell all button? Like, I'm it, it might have been the fact that a lot of those items, the text on them are actual jokes. <laughs> like Right, like you, but you I mean, find, you get those jokes like as you're picking or, them or, up, sorry, right? You, yeah, yeah, you you find the uh, the the sword of a what was their South Park sword of a thousand truths. Yeah, you find that, and it's like uh, this used to be a really amazing sword, but due to like the three expansion packs that we've released, it's now a piece of shit or something like that. <laughs> so there's just little like jokes, little tie-ins with that yeah. shit. But yeah, all right. But yeah, if you've ever had any interest in South Park, definitely go pick it up. Uh, if you don't have any interest in South Park and you want something that's funny as shit. Uh, it's probably still a good time for you. It's probably still a lot of fun. I agree. Don't play it with your kids. Smart. Yeah, do not. And, and be careful who you play it with in general because there are people that might take offense to a lot of that shit in that game <laughs> that, that don't know what South Park humor is. A lot. Yeah. You have been warned. All right. Yep. Let's, uh, well, let's take a break. And uh, when we come back, you guys, we will... Uh, oh, that is not the right song that goes there. Uh, when we come back, we will um, we'll have more. We're going to talk about news, some of the news that's been happening over the last few weeks. We'll hopefully take a few of your phone calls. We'll be back with more 8-Bits after this. Don't go away. Don't go away. 